whenever one man, for whatever reason, has an opportunity to lead an extraordinary life, he has no right to keep it to himself. Jacques Cousteau. Grandpa's hands. Grandpa's hands were kind, old, tanned from the hot sun. They told more than his face did about life and where he had traveled in his 80 years. His hands were masterful in finding lost gems, making fishing lures, and carving something out of wood to last forever. His hands were always open and never closed. I grew up wanting to have those hands, touching earth, arranging space. I found it natural when his hand held mine. My hand is a poem. Sometimes I dream about my hand, the crease of its palm, red and raw. I dream about my hand, a scattering of fingers, warm and capable, red life streaming through its veins, aching to be held. I dream about my hand, holding stars in place, capturing them at length, holding the world of brilliance that screams through the shadows of my fist. I dream they are soft as feathers, warm to the touch. I feel its passion. This hand is a whisper, delicate. I dream of it often. This hand, hand, my hand is a poem. Dear S, you came to me while carving a poem of words onto a piece of paper, sculpting carefully, and asked me to write you a poem. What kind of poem, I asked. You said any kind. Here it is. This poem contains everything I feel for you. My needs and wants of mostly things I've never had are revealed in this poem. You will find tenderness and a gentle voice of all the love I have for you that I'm afraid to ask in person. Read this poem when you are in need of comfort. It is filled with understanding when you are low and passion when you are high. But this poem is only half of what I feel for you. There's still much more. You gotta do good because you have to but because you want to. Warren Lee Govan, 1961 to 2012. I wrote this after Govan passed. Definition of loss. 1888, Van Gogh loses a painting. He paints and paints, works on a canvas for months, and one day he loses it. He loses the structure, loses the sense of it, loses the painting. 2001. Govan displays his collages with three other painters at the art fair. Govan, I said, your work is genius. Those paintings from LA are nothing but blotches of green and black. The art from Santa Barbara camouflage, but your pieces, Van Gogh's, every one. You are a Van Gogh. Let me study with you. Show me your world. Take me into the streets. Show me the homeless and the hapless, the spirited and the free. The sad and the beautiful. What is your secret? In his cool voice, Gavin said, Secret? I don't have a secret. I just know how to experience loss. I am sick of the city hustle, of the people and the heavy city noise. To a while away, the early morning, I visit my garden and steady the hummingbird that comes together with the giant canopy citrus tree, creating a useful rhapsody. I listen to the sprite commune with the primrose and orland, flit inside blood roses with sharp thorns and tall orange and lemon trees rippled by the sun. I marvel at this holy creature. It flies for the heart of my hollyhocks, dangles its plumes, teases the bloom. I watch the hummingbird as it dutifully collects the nectar from the flowers and trees. 
urgent ambulance sounds intrude the solemn tranquility of this sanctuary. The hummingbird soars away, leaving me in a journey. Leaving, I'm sorry, leaving me in a journey for another taste of nectar. <clears throat> Escape artist, you will be gone before I wake. I'm going to miss you, because that's the way it goes. I know your work. You're an escape artist. If I tell you I love you, there goes my ride on the rocket. I will not shame myself to you, don't worry. Nothing dangerous will happen. There will be no loving, I promise. You are safe.